nearly two dozen ancient viruses have been revived by scientists. The oldest of them, dubbed as Pandora virus Yedoma, is known to be 48,500 years old. This breaks the previous record held by a 30,000-year-old virus that was uncovered by the same team in 2013, despite being frozen for many millennia. The virus remains infectious and are being called the zombie viruses. Hello and welcome to India Today, I'm Anjali Istwal. In this video, we are asking, are we moving towards an age of pandemics due to climate change? Climate change due to global warming is rapidly thawing the ancient permafrost, which may pose a new threat to humans. According to researchers who revived these viruses, including the one that was frozen under a lake for more than 48,500 years. European researchers examined ancient samples collected from permafrost in the Siberia region of Russia. They revived and characterized 13 new pathogens, what they termed as zombie viruses, and found that they remained infectious despite spending a long time trapped in the frozen ground, according to a Bloomberg report. Now, this leads us to ask a very logical question. Could the next viral pandemic come from the melting glaciers. Scientists uh, had warned earlier that the thawing of the permafrost due to the atmospheric warming will worsen the climate change by freeing previously trapped greenhouse gases like methane. But its effect on dormant pathogens was not well understood. Now, a team of researchers from Russia, Germany and France are saying that the biological risk of reanimating these viruses they studied was totally neg negligible due to the strains that they have targeted because mainly they are capable of infecting amoeba microbes. The potential revival of a virus that could infect animals or for that matter humans is a much more problematic thing. They are also saying that and they're warning that their work can be extrapolated to show that the danger is real. The study indicated that it is likely that ancient permafrost will release these unknown viruses upon thawing. Though this study hasn't yet been peer-reviewed, but it does give us a warning to stop climate change, to stop diseases. Well, as I told you, this is not the first time that scientists have warned us that climate change can unleash new to us, but ancient viruses on mankind. And earlier research that was published in journal Nature uh, this year in April had found that climate change will result in thousands of new viruses spreading among animal species by 2070. That's likely to increase the risk of emerging infectious diseases and that jumping from animals to humans. This is what the study said. This is especially true for Africa and Asia, continents that have been hotspots for deadly diseases spread from humans to uh, animals or vice versa over the last several decades, including the flu, HIV, Ebola, and coronavirus. Researchers who published their findings in the journal Nature used a model to examine how over 3,000 mammal species might migrate and share viruses over the next 50 years if the world warms up by 2 degrees Celsius, which recent research shows us it is possible. They found that cross-species virus spread will happen over 4,000 times among mammals alone. Birds and marine animals weren't included in the study. Researchers said not only viruses will spread to humans or become pandemics, the scale of the coronavirus, but the number of cross-species viruses increases the risk of spread to humans as well. The study highlights two global crises, climate change and infectious disease spread, as the world grapples with what to do about both. Experts on climate change and infectious diseases agree that a warming planet will likely lead to increased risk for emergence of new viruses. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.